Straight yeah. now. <laughs> Hell yeah, bro. And what's going on, guys? This is the first episode of the fan tape. I'm Cam. That's my homeboy Tweety. And man, we got a lot of topics to get into. Um, obviously the first topic gotta be um the Super Bowl this past weekend. Um uh, recording this the Tuesday after. And um Man, before we get to the game, we got so many pregame storylines to get into. Um, first, got to talk about Travis Kills and Taylor Swift. Um, Sunday, did a little research, um, trying to figure out how long she's been, how long the camera was on her this past Sunday. Overall, the whole year, people say that she'd be on TV a lot, but the whole year, she was on TV for less than a minute, like right under a minute, like around 56, 59 seconds. This past Sunday of Super Bowl, she was on screen for at least 54, 55 seconds on CBS. So yeah, I believe question, that. The was- question I want to ask you is how you feel about it? What's your um take on it? You think it's a big deal? You think it's too much? What you think? I think that like it was necessary. For marketing purposes, I believe that's one of the main reasons that like the ref pull calls for the Chiefs, you know, to help them. You know, it, it's marketing, bro. Like it's all marketing. <laughs> and Taylor Swift, you know, not big in in our community, but you know, she's big around the world. So it just it made a lot of money, and it make a lot of sense, you know. With however you make money, you know, you just got to do that. You got to stick with what works. So I believe it was a great call. For sure, and that that's my big thing, bro. Like. I hear a lot of people saying, oh, man, she be on TV so much, oh, da, da, da. Bro, do you know how much money that she's making for the NFL and can't see the Chiefs, bro? Like, yeah, for the most part, she don't appeal to the main demographic of, of football, but that's the point. That's why that's why she's so amazing. But the football in NFL has never been able to reach females from 8 to 16. This is the first time that the NFL and football has actually reached teenage girls, bro. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, yeah, she don't appeal to the main demographic, which is, you know, males, but we're going to watch football anyway. For sure. There, there's, nothing, there's nothing for us to add. So, I mean, you know, I, I think it's great. And um, I feel like, you know, think about it like this. If you love football and you want NFL to continue having success, bro, and Taylor Swift is bringing it, just take it, bro. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, you gotta take, take it for what it is, you know. For sure. Um, did you hear about the um uh, the Fort Niners facility, the practice facilities for uh for the game? No, I, I wasn't informed on that topic. Um, but yeah, they were just basically saying that. Um, so the Chiefs they ha- they were using the Raiders practice facility, and the Forty Niners they was using UNLV um practice facility, and they were basically just saying that um field conditions were so bad that they were thinking about taking a plane back to San Francisco. Oh yeah, and a long thing too. Yeah, was, was that 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 was, that's like that whole thing too. Yeah, like yeah, yeah, long. Yeah. All right, yeah. And uh, 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 Commissioner Roger Goodell, he went down there to go check it out. He said, "Nah, it's straight." Like, how are you, <laughs> how are you gonna tell football players that a practice facility is gonna be straight for football players? I mean, but like, just like I believe that has something to do with the performance too, because like the the Fort Niners never really just had that moment where they would just strike it, like. Most of the time, like the Chiefs, like they started slow, but they had a point where they were striking, like they were hitting on all cylinders. I don't believe the 49ers ever had a point in that game, so I believe it did did probably affect their performance, like how they practiced. I mean, maybe I don't know. I mean, I would say the 49ers won the first half, obviously, but like right. I think that's most because the Chiefs started off slow because you look at the um. The team stats. I got it right here. 
the 49ers basically won every category over the Chiefs. You know what I'm saying? Total yards ahead of 189. Chiefs had 157. Uh, passing yards, 140 to 118. Rushing yards, 49 to 39. I think it was just that it was just the overtime call. That that whole game came down to taking the ball first in overtime, and then playoff overtime rule changed as of last year, or probably the year before. I I wouldn't like you know just know the exact time. It's it, you remember you everybody remember the game. Ready. You remember the game um in the playoffs, Chiefs and, and Bills and, and Josh right. Allen and 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 uh Patrick Holmes going back and forth. That's when they changed, it. and it made news then, but it really didn't hit. And um, did you see? I think it came out yesterday. Well, all like I think it was like three or four 49ers players said that they ain't know nothing about it, like or they didn't talk about it like that. I mean, I didn't. Re- only reason I knew was because of virtual be- virtual football game. Like madness. The only reason I knew that the playoff OT rules changed, and if it wasn't because of that, I wouldn't even know. So like, I feel like it's a topic that wasn't touched on enough or wasn't widely spoken on enough to just like. They should have said that again, like over the commentating, like why the game, like why the OT from the start, like that should have came back up because, like, the NFL did not like, like even the NBA, like when they make new rules, everybody hears about them. I don't believe everybody even had a chance to hear about their rule. And then, um, I don't know if you heard, but um, uh, Kyle Shanahan, head coach, obviously, he came out, he said something to the effect of, um. Yeah, they 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 knew about it. Like they they have talked about it a few times over the season, but I guess what do you say? He said something like they wasn't prepared for it, or they didn't have a plan, you know, set for it. So they didn't really know what to do. At the end of the day, like being a head coach, going yeah. into over overtime, yeah, you you just have to know certain things, man. You you're the head coach, like certain things you just have to know, and you have to like. Like, you can't take the ball first going against the Kansas City Chiefs in overtime. You have to let them score because they're going to score. In it, was, it was the new yeah. rules, yeah. Because with yeah, the right. old rules, you want the ball first because right. it, whatever score that you – field goal, touchdown, whatever, you win the game. When the clock ends, right. Right. Um, It's kind of – well, it's not exactly like college rules now, but, you know, college rules, you know, people live – yeah, right. Yeah, well, people at home can, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, but like, yeah, so when you, if you take the ball, well, you don't really want the ball first, but if you score a field goal or whatever, the other team has a chance to match it with a field goal, then the original team, you know, gets a chance to go again. Or if the opposing team get a touchdown, they win. Yeah, and no, then right. They don't score anything. So it's kind of sort of like that, but it's a little bit different because it's a clock. So, because the, the Chiefs could have let the clock run out at the end of the overtime, and then they start back over in another overtime. It's basically like a whole new game after the game. Yeah, right. But like, I, I don't, I don't fully grasp the rule because it's like, okay, what if they both score seven and the clock runs out two times? It just keeps going, like, because like, you can't tie in the Super Bowl. Everybody knows that. Like, you, you can't tie in the Super Bowl. Somebody has to win. So yeah. like, I don't I don't get the rule for the Super Bowl. I feel like it should should have it should have been the old rules. But I feel like the head coach, you just gotta be aware of that. Like you lost the game because you didn't know that. Um. Oh, another thing too. Um, you saw you saw Kadarius Tony talk crazy on on Instagram. Kadarius Tony had every right to talk crazy. Why you say that? Because they're literally saying he's injured. Like. Not not playing. He, he did have not, injury though. He did have injury. They just didn't take him off the reserve. He 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 was medically clear. He went and got his own medically clear, and he still wasn't able to play. And they they didn't play him because if you play him, they're gonna be like, "Why are you not putting him in? Why are you not putting him in?" That's sabotage. Right. Mm-hmm. It, okay. He he was a street clothes on the sideline. But like I, I just I don't believe that like he it's no reason he shouldn't play like because he's he's a wide like he's one of the better wide receivers on your team even though he had a bad reputation this season for what he's been doing dropping balls or whatever he's one of your better wide receivers bro. he's one of the better wide receivers 
he's at least but, like he's at least top four. Like he's at least like four receivers. I mean, they only got four wide receivers. <laughs> I mean, they only got four wide receivers. But everybody in the NFL, though, I mean, it's always a fifth man up, you know. So bro, they just you, gave his spot so, away. So he better than McCole Hartman. Hell no. <laughs> is he better than Rasheed Rice? Rasheed Rice, no, no. Is he is he better than Pacheco? Pacheco, a uh, uh, running back. And receiving, he's better than Pacheco. How is he better than Pacheco? Receiving the ball, he's better than Pacheco. Bro, was, uh, Pacheco he was had top, Pacheco had uh, uh, six receivers for thirty uh, for thirty three yards, bro. Those are flat. Those are flats because everybody expect Pat Mahomes to throw deep ass balls. Is he, so he, is, he, is, he better, is he better than MVS? Uh, Vantage Scotland, or what you yeah. that's who, uh, nah, uh, I can't get him there. So he might, he might actually be the number the fifth guy. I know, I, 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 yeah, you made me rethink that. For me, MVS and Tony, both of them are body catchers, right? They, right. they, they got a, a like, their hands are horrible. I, 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 I don't know, Tony, I don't know, but both of them in general are body catchers. I believe Scanlon is faster though. Might be, yeah. I believe he's kind of old though. How, how old is he? Because <laughs> he uh, he was on he was on my uh, panels with, with uh, Aaron Rodgers. Oh, no, I did not know that about him. I, I, I knew nothing yeah. past, I knew nothing like in the past about him. I seen him like on one other team, but I can't remember. Like, I the just Packers. ran past him. <laughs> he was on the panel. Yeah. Okay. Mm, cool. I can't, I can't remember if he signed with the Chiefs or not or, or traded. I, I'm not sure. But I think he's he been there since last year. Yeah. Yeah, I think he's been there. This is his second year. I think yeah, this will be his second year. But um, actually getting into the game, um, uh, obviously, Chiefs won. Um, Super Bowl MVP Patrick Mahomes, 34, 46 passing, 333 passing yards, two touchdowns, one interception, 66 rushing yards, nine carries. Um, compared to Brock Purdy, 23, 38 passing, 255 passing yards. One touchdown, three carries, twelve rushing yards. Um, I don't know your take on this, but but is is um, Brock Purdy game manager or he elite? Brock Purdy. Oh, I think um, after 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 the Super Bowl game, seeing him being so poised in like the first, yeah, second, sure. third, fourth quarter, like he was poised. He, he was like it like it looked like he had less pressure on him than like than Patrick Mahomes. And Patrick Mahomes is one of those guys that never never like nervous at all. So I believe Purdy is I believe he's elite, bro. I believe the game changer thing. I believe he do play on the best the best well rounded team around him offensively. But like you can say Dak Prescott does that too, and he doesn't win. So like and I'm you know I, I mess with the Cowboys, so I can say like Purdy puts them over that hump. Like cause Jimmy Guapolo couldn't do it. You know, so sure. like, I believe Purdy, like he 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 definitely probably is elite. I think he had a great game, great playoffs, but I think the game manager Ted got a bad reputation for no reason. Right. Because you if you think about it, Tom Brady is a game manager. Yeah, for sure. But he's the best game manager. Game, yeah, right. Right. Her Warner, Hall of Fame, Super Bowl MVP. He's a great game manager. So I'm, I'm saying, like, yeah, a lot. I don't know why, but everybody, like, I didn't say everybody, but there's a group that say game manager, bad. You're not good enough. There's another yeah. group that's like, you know what I'm saying? So I don't, he's he's definitely, Brock Purdy, his, his style is definitely game manager, but I feel like he's, I don't want to say one of the great game managers, but he's a very, very good game manager. And um, with the elite tag, with the elite tag, you got to have MVP at least. That's my opinion. I think got I think I think you got to have the MVP first. Either have an MVP or have a Super Bowl. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you, you're right. I mean, he's he's too young too to just say like he's elite. Like nobody, you cannot be elite that young. He's a young guy. I mean, Patrick Mahomes won the Super Bowl his first year starting. He's elite. Like, he's but, I know, but I mean, but I'm saying you can be young and be elite. Like, it's not 
too early or too late to say that somebody's elite. It's CJ like when, you know what I'm saying? It's like when somebody show you they're elite, they elite. Is CJ Stroud elite? Like, would you say Stroud is elite? I was, I would say he got to get to a um conference championship first. He, he better than Purdy, bro. He's better than Purdy. Yeah, he, yeah, better, yeah, yeah. I, 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 yeah. yeah. He's elite, bro. If, if that's the, if that's, that's how you say elite. Like we can say it like that. Try to elite. He, I'm, I'm saying he has very great skills, but I think the elite tag comes with winning. Too. Oh, okay, okay. So I, I'm I saying if you. if if he can get to a couple conference championships first, and uh, yeah. or get to a Super Bowl or win an MVP, I think you can go ahead and stop with the elite tag. Hey, they got they got uh Pat Mahomes to a pick. Oh uh, yeah, that's probably I, I wasn't broadcasting the game then. I need a little more intel on what happened. I heard about the pick, I seen it and everything, but I didn't really analyze like was it his fault or the receiver's fault. Well basically well, I, I yeah, I would say his fault because cause he was looking for kills. It was third, it was third and long, it had to be like third, third and fifteen. And he was looking for Kelsey. And uh, um, for the Niners, they was in Tampa two, so Tampa right. two. It looks like it's a cover two, but after you know you snap the ball and you really get the quarterback finna pass the middle linebacker got to drive back, get into uh zone coverage. Now it's cover three. Oh, so it was like he 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 ran like a seam route and tried to beat like the cover two. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, I so, can see that. So Kelsey went up the seam, then he went out, then you got uh um. Uh, Mahomes, he locked in on Kelsey. He goes to the right. Everybody on 49 defense see it. Jot to the, uh, where they left side of the field and um, pick it off. In the last two seasons, last two postseasons, um, Mahomes is 7 0 in wins, uh, 13 touchdowns, one I'm interception. The interception um, happened uh, Sunday. He's done through one interceptions in two playoffs. 13 and 0. Elite, bro. <laughs> Elite, bro. Elite. And I'm a Broncos. 7 0, 7 0, 7 0, 13 touchdowns. That, that's, that, that's elite, bro. I'm scared as a Broncos fan, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that's elite, bro. Hey, we, hey they finna um, trade, uh, oh boy. You can't trade Russell Wilson, bro. And that's what like, talking about. You can't yeah. trade Russell. He's too fucking old. That. He's too old, and he has an upside. Like, well, he don't have an upside. He has a downside because he's old. But like, he he still like he can still get you to the playoffs, but he can't win your playoff game. Yeah, yeah, I believe like if Russell would like if Russell Wilson was the co- the quarterback of the 49ers, they would have won the championship. I believe that. <laughs> I believe that, bro. That, that, you, I mean, you, you got to put the hot takes in there, bro. You, you got to throw them in there. <laughs> I don't know, bro. I, I got another hot take. Yeah. I That's got another hot take for you. Greenlaw. Greenlaw. I don't, I don't – like, I've done that exact thing before. Like, try to take off fast and, like, just snap some shit. But it's, never been, to the point, it's never been to the point you can't just get back in the game. But it's the Achilles though. Oh, so he really, he really tore. Shit. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Well, they haven't said mm-hmm. what he, you know, torn, ruptured, or whatnot. Right, right. But it's, it's the Achilles. Achilles. And I can tell it was the Achilles because when he, you know, made that yeah, step or whatever. Step down, right. Yeah, like he had like that. That Aaron Rodgers, Kevin Durant, they still they like, man, who just keep me back my, <laughs> who just keep me back my leg? He went down, so I was like, it's got to be Achilles. Yeah, I, I believe um he was just too hyped. Like, and then he like that. That shit lost the game. Like it's certain yeah. like small shit that lost the game. Cause like when he was on the field, the four. I mean the Chiefs had nothing going. Like two two empty drives. He was playing good defense, good pass deflection. And I don't think he that much in the past game. And like, you know, like he like he like a hitter type backer, but he's he bro. was in the game. Like bro, he's a thumper. Right. He's a he's a thumper. Bro. I'm talking about. I don't know. I don't know. If you watched the game earlier in the season, but um, 49ers Cowboys. I think it had been like first second quarter. 
Hey, Tony Pollard, yeah, Tony Pollard uh, get the ball. Green I'll shoot the gap. I'm talking about two leg, triple H, gold, gold bird, spine buster, bro. I mean, he, he for real. He, he don't play. So, to see him, like, making that difference in Patrick Mahomes passing, like, man, he, he was probably going to – he probably could have – he could have he could have made uh, MVP that game. No. You, you know who the MVP was going to be. I mean, I was going for CMC, but I ain't really seen too much out of him. Like, I don't know. I see, CMC, CMC was uh was nice. I yeah, seen it, but uh, like, 22 carries, 80 yards, 80, uh, 80 rushing yards, 80 passing yards. I mean, his nine CMC in the in the passing, like in the receiving, that nigga was he was balling. He was catching shit. He was balling. But like on as far as on the ground, I expected to see a hundred fifty yard game from him. Like that's that's just what I expected from the best running back in the league. I expect to see you shine in the Super Bowl and win the game. Like, and I believe Pacheco didn't play too much different than CMC, bro. Like, I, I shouldn't. I, I shouldn't. It shouldn't be too much comparison between those two. Like, he should have had a hundred more yards now. Like, that's just that's just how I see. It. Like CMC. I CMC think the problem probably, was, um, the 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 Kansas City Chiefs. They defense is for the, is for the pass, bro. So they'll they'll get in a in a in a nickel or a dime to 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 um stop the pass. Just like with with, with the Ravens, the Ravens should have ran the ball more. Right, Lamar. You know what I'm Lamar he keep, you know dropping back and you know uh, Chiefs they in pass coverage. You know what I'm saying? But with the Ravens, I think what happened was um early the running game wasn't really working. So instead of trying to keep going and make it work, they kind of, you know, held back a little bit. I ain't really hear the media talk about it like that. They, you know, talk. I heard it. I definitely yeah. heard it. I read comments. I heard everything. Everybody on the NFL, man, Lamar, Lamar ain't taking no rushes. Lamar, he playing too timid. He playing. I ain't even yeah. watched the game, but what I got from all the analytics, Lamar didn't run enough. Like, that's what, that's what, that's what I hear they like. But here's the thing. He led the team in rushing. I mean, it's, it's still I can't. Like, I can't remember how many carries um Gus Edwards had, but he didn't have a lot of carries, bro. I believe. I believe Lamar had. It was around like eight carries, seventy something rushing yards, if I'm not mistaken. Or well, it might have been like seven for fifty. It, it was something around that. So like, it was a decent rushing game, but like in those games, like just like CMC, I expect Lamar Jackson to go off and have crazy rushing stats. Like do what you do. Like don't don't try to turn into my home. Do what he do. Do what you do. Like run the ball. Like and if that if that really was like I, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna rewatch it and really analyze that. If that really what killed the game. Like that's crazy. Like, yeah, but like I, I said, I, I, I think what happened was early on. Cause I think I want to say the first two plays were run plays. Right. And I just think uh, uh Ravens uh um I, I forget the OC name. But Harbaugh and, and OC, I just think it was like, I don't think the run working today. And they just, just got with pass and, and, and stuck with it. But um, I want to talk about um, Jawan Jennings. You saw Jawan Jennings? Oh, yeah, that nigga crazy. That nigga was, <laughs> he was, he was MVP. That nigga was MVP. Bro, they, if that they was won MVP. Super Bowl, he would have been MVP, bro. Man, touchdown pass? What? Man, bro. that pass was, man, bro, he looked, it like, he looked it like Patrick Mahomes on the other side of the field, bro. That pass was crazy. Man, that nigga was poised. He was waiting on him to hit him. He still threw it, bro. That man, that, was, man, that man, bro. That man was balling. Everything I watched, he had a catch. Every time I turned it on, he had a catch, bro. That, he, he was balling, bro. That man was balling. Four receptions, 42 on um, receiving yards, one receiving touchdowns. Obviously, one for one with passing. They had the trick wide receiver pass play. Um, 21 passing yards. Got the, uh, the pass of TD to um, CMC. He's the second player in Super Bowl history with a a pass, a pass touchdown and a receiving touchdown um in a Super Bowl. Do you know who the first guy was? See, I heard it and I, I want to think it was a quarterback with it. I, I yeah. want I want I, I want to think it was it was, I want to think that name was Kurt Warner, but I don't think that was the name. I think it was I think it was a little more far fetched. But yeah, you, that, that uh, I'm gonna give you a hint, you feel it special. And it's really special. Damn. Cause now, now you make me seem like a casual because I don't know. Because <laughs> <laughs> I never looked into that shit, bro. Bro, you bro, you remember the quarterback when they did the feeling special? 
I remember the Philly special. I don't remember the quarterback. I don't even remember the team. Bro, the Philly special? Oh, hold on, hold on. <laughs> the time, they had so this would be the Eagles one day. So they yeah. had Vic, they had Vic, they had who was before Vic? Damn, what was his name? I can't even remember his name. He used to be on like Madden like 25. Was it him? Like the like the the kind of old, but he's not that old quarterback, bro. I can't Nick think of Foles. That. Nick, fuck yeah, yeah, right. Okay, 20, yeah. Bro, 2018 against the uh the uh uh Patriots. Bro, I was I was a full on basketball fan at that time. <laughs> bro, yeah, like man. hey man retired around that time. I, I was gone. I was gone. Yeah, man. Juwan Jen is second player in Super Bowl history with a um passing touchdown, receiving touchdown since Nick Foles in 2018. Got a few records to run off. But before we get to that, I want to talk about the um you know the game with the um with the chances the on um, the betting the betting line. So before the game, the um Chiefs there was one they were one and a half underdogs. Damn. And then um after Booker hit the um no who's the um moody moody adam moody hit the field goal at the end of uh regulation the chiefs were two and a half on the dogs before overtime so you saying um that um that field goal is amazing so yeah i mean after that happened i felt like the 49ers won the game i don't know why but I feel like I feel the need that that why they 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 raised it because like I feel like they won the game. For me, for me, after the, the um OT and the Forty Niners hit the uh field goal to OT, I knew they lost. Yeah, for sure. I, I knew they lost, bro. Because I, I knew the rule. I knew the rule. That's why I knew they lost. I knew the rule. Like if you knew the rule, you knew. Like the Forty Nine, they were thinking the game was over. Even I had to think about. It. I was like, "Oh, I just played Madden yesterday, and the same shit just happened. <laughs> like it just happened. Like it had literally just happened." So I was like, "Oh shit, nigga, they still got time." Like the Forty Nine just kind of running clock now, nigga. They still have time. They have as much time as they have until their position is over. So I mean, they, had, they probably they probably caught the uh, the Forty Nine off guard because you know. Then they ran a play like five or six seconds left in the in the overtime first quarter. Right. You know what I'm saying? So they they hit the because I'm sure for nine probably thinking okay, they probably gonna hold it wait till next overtime. But um uh, they run a play six seconds left, and then um Mahomes get the ball, drop back, roll out to the right. Um uh, was it McCall Harmon? Yeah, McCall Harmon. He zig to the inside, zig back out in the end zone. Why pass? Touchdown. So yeah, man, my own he um he's special, bro. But I got a few records to run off. Um, this is the seventh longest game in the history of NFL. Um, Mahomes has never lost in Allegiant Stadium. Um who stadium would that be? The Raiders, Las Vegas. Raiders, okay. Yeah, cool. I think I think they opened up in 2020. I mean, yeah, it, yeah no, it, nobody it, it, yeah, so. yeah, um, but yeah, never lost in the Legion Stadium. Um, uh, first back to back Super Bowl champion since Patriots 03 04. Um, uh, Andy Reid, Mahomes, they're the fourth quarterback coach duo to win three plus Super Bowls. Um, the other <laughs> three are obviously Bill Belichick, Tom Brady, um, Chuck Noll, uh, Terry Bradshaw, the Steelers. And uh, Bill Walsh, Joe Montana, three, and uh, with the 49ers. Uh, Andy Reid, Mahomes are securely the second in duo um, postseason wins with 15 surpassing Chuck Noel and Terry Bradshaw. Harrison Bucker is six for six for his career in postseason field goals when tied or behind three points or fewer in the last two seconds of the fourth or OT. That's a Crazy stat. Crazy stat. Um, first postseason game with the new OT rules. Twenty-eight games, twenty-eight uh, um, postseason games has been played since the um, twenty twenty-two divisional round with the Chiefs and the Bills. 
uh, in the first 57 Super Bowls, seven 50 plus yard field goals were made. Uh, in this past game, it was three in one know. game. Um, uh, Mahomes is three and zero against the 49ers for his career. Um, and the last two seasons, Mahomes is seven zero. Um, in the postseason, 13 touchdowns, one interception, 15 for three in total career playoffs games. Um, Chiefs won all three of their Super Bowls after being down at least 10 points in the game at some point. It was more than 10 one time, wasn't it? Was it like 17? I think they were down. I think they were down big. That might have been the first one. They were down pretty big one time. I won the, no, no, because remember they were, um, halftime, it was 10 and 0. And then wait, was it? I want to say it was ten and zero. And then the uh, Chiefs they kicked a field goal, and then the Forty Niners kicked a field goal. I think it was 13-3. Oh yeah, right, right, right. So yeah. Also, um, Super Bowl thirty eight holds the record for the second highest most viewers to ever watch a television program. And this one was the first by the Taylor Swift. <laughs> <laughs> Like, yeah, I mean, I mean, you just gotta make the money, man. I mean, uh, I, I can't knock it. Like, I ain't like I was getting mad every time they count. Like, why, why are they showing this one, man? Show the football. But like, I can't knock it. I can't knock it. Like, it's making money. Like, do you, I do the same thing. Do you know what the the most watched uh, television program in history is? I would want to say. At one time. It was. It was. It was I would want to say WrestleMania. I would want to say it would be a WrestleMania. WrestleMania not on TV, bro. <laughs> bro, like that's far fetched. But like the other other thing I can think about is like like I can't think it's a, it's it's one show that you can like it's everybody. Not a show. It's not a show. It's not a show. Okay, it is a sports program. It's not. What's it a sports program? Damn, what's the? Is it a movie or a TV movie? Or something? The like, nineteen just watched the, it one time. The nineteen sixty nine moon landing. That makes so <laughs> when they landed on the moon, it averaged 125 to 150 million viewers. Bro, that's not true. That many niggas didn't even have TV, in it, bro. It wasn't bro, even that many TV produced here. <laughs> bro, six and nine, bro. It was it was it was a lot of TVs, six and nine, bro. I want to say they had color TVs out then. It just black people didn't have it, but they had color TVs at six and nine, I want to say. Oh, okay. Bro, this pictures of Dr. King in color, bro. <laughs> I mean, yeah, there are. Like yeah. <laughs> you saw the halftime show? I mean, no. I'm not, not I'm not I'm not too big on a dude dancing with his shirt off with her pants. <laughs> Each of his own. I mean, it, you know, it's cool for what work. I mean, it go back to the Taylor Swift thing. Everybody, I mean, every music genre ain't for everybody. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? So but I don't you know think I believe it, it was only one thing wrong with that. Usher, John, Luda didn't do it again, bro. Like, why? Why didn't they do it again, bro? Like, love and <laughs> friends. Like, they, they got to come on, man. Well, why? 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 Why they do it? But that one turned though. When I saw uh, Jermaine Dupree come out, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, it, yeah, it was touch as hell, bro. But love and friends is like that's that's all I remember Usher for, bro. Like, you you gotta pull that shit out, bro. That's a black classic, bro. Like, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. The only Usher song that I can call out by name is Yeah. I wouldn't even be able to call it out. I'm telling you, it's just love with your friend. I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm like, this so and that shit like Usher. Like, bro, I don't think I know about it, nigga. Like, bro, when, I, ride, think of, bro. when I think of this. Usher, bro, I think of Yeah with Lil John, and I think of the Boondocks. Yeah, that shit went let it burn. Oh, bro, like that's all I think about. Like daddy loves your friend. Like it, it's not a lot, right? But yeah, Usher performed 13 songs, including um Caught Up, Bad Girl, My Boo, and Yeah. Um, special guest performers, Alicia Keys, her, Jermaine Dupri, Lil John, and Ludacris. Um the, the thing that everybody wants to talk about is Usher and Alicia Keys. Yeah, um, at least he should be single. You, 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 did you see what, uh, you know who a husband is, right? Yeah, right. Swiss Beast, yeah, sure. yeah. But, but Swiss Beast, he came out with a tweet and said, um, you he know, y'all were, y'all worry about the wrong thing. Y'all should be worried about, you know, history, how great performance it was, and all that. But I mean, I'm pretty sure they rehearsed it. I don't, I don't think, 
I mean, Usher a wild dude. I don't, I don't think. Bro, that was Usher, that was... Usher is definitely portrayed the exact way the Boom Docs portrayed him. Oh, like, like they portray him as like trying to take a nigga woman, but like not directly trying to do it, and that's exactly <laughs> what he does. Like he's a manipulative dude, and he's life wave. There's no way you let a dude like that. The one of the best black singers, light skin with waves and a six pack. But he's not light skin, skin, bro. He's brown skin, bro. He, bro, he, he almost there. He almost there, bro. He Me and us almost the same color. He, he almost there though, bro. Like he's closer to you, like Usher, bro. Usher's pretty light, bro. Oh, did you see? Um, well, you probably well, you didn't see it, but did you hear about um Kanye and, and Taylor Swift at the Super Bowl? No, I didn't. So, I'm, I'm guessing I don't know if Kanye had the box beside her or maybe he had a seat like below her or whatever but Taylor Swift basically or her camp basically had uh, Kanye moved why you know why no I don't like, you don't remember you don't remember Kanye Taylor Swift 2008 at the awards no, bro, I, you I, I, I'm 19, bro. No, <laughs> bro, you, bro, you don't remember. Uh, he came out and um, basically, uh, I want to say it's the it was either VMAs or it was MTV Awards, but uh, Taylor Swift won uh, video of the year, music video of the year, and then oh, yeah, Kanye, okay. yeah, Kanye came up on stage to the mic from him, it was like. Hey, you know, Taylor Sue, you cool, we love you, but Beyonce had the best music video of all time. <laughs> and uh yeah, it did oh, yeah. you know the, the famous song, Kanye? Yeah, I'm sure. I made that video. <laughs> you know yeah, what I'm saying? Sure, yeah. So so he he drawing there along with it. I think that came out 2016, 2017. So yeah, um and another thing too, um Kanye. I, I didn't see it, but basically he had a Super Bowl commercial that he recorded with his phone. I mean that that that's just Kanye, bro. Like, like that, that, that's that's Kanye, bro. But yeah, but you know he he you know broke up with Adidas, right? And um, yeah, right. basically he recorded a, a low quality video on his phone, which is like, hey, um, I just want y'all to go to Yeezy.com and uh, we just drop some shoes, da 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 da, sold out. And guess I guess how much shoe costs? Around around five seventy five. Twenty dollars. Twenty dollars? Is just like twenty Yeezys? Cause he you gotta understand, bro. Ye uh, uh Kanye not really liked it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Adidas the one charging two hundred dollars, and then you having you no know, resale or whatever. Kanye oh, like I I really never really messed with it. I want to be a I want everybody to have Yeezys. So he started his own thing, Yeezy, uh, dot com, uh, twenty dollars a pair, and uh, sold out, and uh, nineteen point three million dollars, one day. Damn! See that? That's the thing about it, bro. You can make money off low profit stuff. Like he could have sold them for thirty five dollars and made probably like five, six more million dollars. Bro. So like, I plan on buying that shoe. <laughs> I plan on buying that shoe, bro. I plan on buying that shoe. Here's the other thing, bro. Um, a Super Bowl, well, a spot in the Super Bowl for an ad is seven million dollars, right? Right. He recorded with his phone. That's free. So that's a uh, do the math. That's a twelve million dollar profit, bro. Yeah, Kanye he ain't he just no money on no production. He ain't had no crazy or fix. He ain't have a whole bunch of celebrities on like bro he recorded i don't want to say it was like 15 20 second uh video on his phone and uh, uh give to cbs seven million dollars made 19.3 we get into basketball um so the nba all-star game um coming up indianapolis um Obviously, you know, uh, got the new format. Well, it's not a new format now, 
but you know, we got the captains, captains, you know, draft their teams. And um, now when Kobe died in the fourth quarter, uh, each team, the, well, the team with the highest points had to score 24 points and they got a target score. It's not a time anymore. Right. Right. So uh, I just wanted to hear your thoughts on that. Ah, uh, the Kobe thing. I mean, it's a it's a it's a sweet rule, you know, whatever. I just no, it's just one of those things that like he's dead, so I don't want to say it, but like it's un it's unnecessary. Like, it's been unnecessary. Like, what you think it, about the um it's been around for a minute now, but what you think about having two captains and and um picking team? Oh, I thought they went back to the East West format. They didn't they didn't they didn't hmm. go back. Oh, hmm. oh so yeah, they oh, it's still yeah, uh, LeBron, LeBron, and, and Giannis, they um captains. Uh, LeBron, this is seventh time, seventh time being captain. Uh, he's been a captain ever since the format came out, yeah. and this is Giannis' third time. So, um, what you think about uh, the format? I feel like I was very excited for it to go back to the East West format. That's why I thought it was at again, mm-hmm. but hearing that it's not. I mean, I feel like it's just it's just an all star game, bro. Niggas don't even play it seriously. Like, let, yeah. let me stop this. I say it like that. Like, I mean, people don't even play seriously, like in the all star game. So, like, it's to like think like it doesn't really mean anything. I mean, I don't even watch that game, so I really I don't have too many thoughts on it. Man. I wish it go back to the east and west though, because like it was fun watching those like different jerseys. Well, it's a lot of people that um think that they should change it to to USA versus the world. Like the um, the rookie game, where well, USA right. versus the world. There's some people saying that it should change change the regular All-Star game to USA versus the world. What you think about that? I think that it's not enough players good in the world category. Are you crazy? USA. I mean, no, I am crazy because <laughs> twelve. You do 13, you do you do, like, you, do, not, not you do realize that Kyrie gonna be on the world for right? Right, I know, but like. Eight, eight, nine players that's in the world are not going to be the best eight, nine. They're not going to be a part of the best 18 players that should have been an all star game. Like some people are going to get badly snubbed because it's world, be world in USA. Like USA might account for 10 players and the world might be what seven, nine. And then it's like one dude is snubbed because he should have made it over him, but he's not like he's from the USA and he wasn't better than these USA players. But he was better than one this world player, but like he couldn't get in because it's the format. Like I, I don't know, I believe that format will be flawed. Like, yeah, I mean they, they had to do it a, a certain way, but I ain't gonna lie, bro. World gonna slaughter USA. I mean, world, world got what? The USA it, don't care. Yo, I USA mean, don't if, care. And beat is with is with. And beat is with like what USA now or world, whichever one he wants to oh, be. Oh, he'll be able to just pick. He, he'll probably pick world. I, I would say. No, I or, think it or, or or he might he might uh do USA just so he can go against Jokic, maybe. Um, right. I mean, but, nah, he's he's not going against Jokic. He picked USA this time though. He's playing for the USA national team. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah, he's playing for the national team, yeah. But so I mean, in the USA world format. I believe I believe USA still takes the win, bro. Like until like three years from now, when you don't have KD and LeBron and Steph Curry, those three guys right there wins the game. I mean, if the USA cares enough, they'll win. But in my opinion, I just don't think the USA will, will care enough. Yeah, right, right. I don't think anybody cares enough. It's the All Star game. Nobody cares. <laughs> but bro, if the if the world if they did USA versus the world team, will take a person. Yeah, nigga. Yeah, nigga. They gonna yeah, take right. a person. But like it's still the whole world versus one country. That shit don't mean nothing. <laughs> the whole world. USA not even one of the bigger countries. Like, it's USA. I think. I think USA it's like, like four. We like me, bro. Like if you're not counting all the small I think African, like four. If you're not counting all the small ass African countries, bro. Like that's why we four. All the niggas be having random ass countries and shit. Like, I'm talking about I, like countries that mean. I want to say that the 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 uh, country with the most people is China. I want to say. Right, but they I, I, had the, the overpopulation thing because you know it made people only had, they had to have two kids because they overpopulated. I want to say it's China, but I, I'm not uh, very familiar with the list. 
Um, speaking of snubs, Trey Young and um, Trey Young, Scotty Barnes, and um, Darren Fox are three guys that people think were snubbed. Um, luckily for Trey Young and, and Scotty Barnes, um, Julius Randle and um, who's the other guy? Um, basically, yeah, two guys on each team got injured or whatever, and um, Trey Young and, and Scotty Barnes um, took their places. So, um, what do you think about that? Trey Young should have been all star. Yeah, Trey Young, I mean, besides field goal percentage, which is his only biggest flaw, which I believe that's why he's not elite, and I believe he gets the right attention because his field goal percentage is horrible to be a star. Phone but book I just believe he's better. Than, he he's playing better than Jalen Brunson, bro. Like with the assist totals and yeah, 20, 27 to ten. I mean, come on, now. yeah, right. I, I think it's twenty seven to eleven. Is am I not wrong? Is it twenty seven to eleven? It might be twenty seven to eleven. I, yeah. I want to say it was twenty seven to ten. Like that, like if it wasn't for the forty two percent field goal percentage, he should definitely he would have been definitely been an all star. But like I still believe it's some it's certain guys that he played better than Damian Lillard. Like, and, and yeah, but but the fire. record though, the record, the record, the record. Yeah, I mean it's the record, but you're playing with Giannis. Like, yeah. Damian Lillard should have nowhere been a starter. Like, no, Damian Lillard, no. Trey Young should have never been a starter, bro. And he didn't even make the team. He was a reserve. I feel like that was one of the biggest snubs in history. Bro. <laughs> like real shit. Like all star snubs. Like that was a snub, bro. And I don't even like Trey Young, bro. And that's a snub. Bro. He's all star. I just want to know something though that uh, I heard Gilbert Arenas talk about back in the day. Um, I can't remember if it was the year before his first All Star or it was the year of his first All Star, but he got snubbed. Right. And he was dropping like 27 a game, like just like Trey Young. And then think about it if it's this, you know, 03, 04, 05, and he dropping 27, he gets snubbed. And he, you know, bring out the good point. Um, one, you played on the Wizards. They're not winning. Oh, yeah, right. Um, low, uh, low market team. Um, and then the coaches, they, cause he, you talking about Doc Rivers, the coaches in the East, well, in the perspective um conferences, they call each other and be like, hey, both of my guy, hey, both of my guy, hey, both of my guy. You know what I'm saying? Because the coaches can vote for their own guys. They got to vote guys on the other team. But let's say right now, let's say um, let's say Doc Rivers trying to get Chris Middleton to the All-Star game. He can call around the East and be like, hey, you know, we vote for Chris Middleton. I'll vote for your guy. He want me to vote for. Da, 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 da. And, you know, they, they went up against, you know, his favor because at first Gilbert Arenas ain't really have a, a, a personality like that. You know, he grew into his personality, and then, you know, Wizards, they not winning uh, uh, small market team. So, I, th I, I think that just happens. I just believe it was just because it was him. Like, you know, he, yeah. he's just always been a black ball guy. So, you know, it was just him. Yeah. I mean, you know, you, you drop in 2017 on a team that's not really winning like that, and then, you know, when you when he playing, he nutmegging folks. He celebrated all those. Right, right. A lot of guys ain't messing with it. So I mean, you know. Uh, also, De'Aaron Fox. What do you think about De'Aaron Fox? De'Aaron Fox haven't hasn't played enough games to be an All Star. I mean, I know he started off pretty rocky playing games. I don't know how many games total games he's played now because I don't keep up with De'Aaron Fox. But yeah. like. He started the season off. He missed like the first five out of the six games. Like he, I don't think he he's he could have been an all-star because he hadn't played enough. That's the only reason I think that he didn't get snubbed because like you haven't been there, bro. You got to be there like to be an all-star. I believe availability is one of the best abilities. But like if you're not there, there's no way you can be an all-star. You're not there. Like mm -hmm. that's just the way I think of. It. I, don't, I don't have a stats on him, but I'm finna um. Get it real quick. What you think about uh well before uh Trey Young and Scotty Barnes were picked to be replacements, they had Jared Allen and Derek White as potential uh replacements. Bro, for, the whole uh, the, Embiid yeah. and, and Randall. The whole Derek White being the all-star thing is so crazy to me. He he was not it, it it's guys that you can still say like 
Jalen Williams on the Thunder. You could say he was over Derek White, bro. Like, Derek White shouldn't have been close to being in the reserve. He shouldn't have been close to the All Star game. Jared Allen, I don't think he should have been close either, bro. It, it, I mean, well, they, they, they put, they put, well, with Derek White, they put him in a conversation for a team record. Right. Just like, uh, I don't know if you remember this, but Cal Corbin back in the day, he became an all-star because the Hawks were the best team in the East. And he was like the fourth best player, and they just said, you know, just stick him in there. You know what I'm saying? And then um, uh, Jared Allen, I think he leads the league in field goal percentage. I could be wrong, but I think he leads the league yeah, in field goal percentage. Yeah, so, um, yeah. So, but, I mean, it, it's just ridiculous. You got – Trey Young drop a 27 and 10, and Scotty Barnes, the best player on, on the Raptors. I, I had a look at his stats too, but it's just, it's it's crazy. You said Raptors, bro. You definitely yeah. should have said Hawks. Scotty Barnes, bro. You said oh, Trey Young. <laughs> yeah, you bet. Um, Scotty Barnes, best, best player on the Raptors. I don't have his numbers up, but yeah, bro. What's them about Doc Rivers being the, uh, well, they say he's the East head coach, but he said, you know, he want to give it to um, Adrian somebody. Griffin. Yeah, he said he want to give it to Adrian Griffin or um, whoever was third, which would be, I think it was Cleveland at the time. Or or he'll just send his staff and he'll, you know, leave. But what do you think about um, that premise that they trying to make Doc Rivers be the head coach? <laughs> I mean, it, it's, just, it's just by default. Like, I mean, I can't say, like, it's a bad thing, good thing, whatever thing it is. It's just by default. Like, he's by default the coach. Yeah. So, like, yeah, I, I can't, no, nah, I can't, I can't, like, I, I applaud him for not wanting to do it because he didn't yeah, do it. Sure. But if mm-hmm. he did it, if he did it, I mean, I wouldn't say, like, no, nah, he ain't supposed to do this. Like, he ain't supposed to but do here's this. Here's the thing, though. If you don't, if you are chosen for a all-star activity and you don't attend, you get fined. So like if a player, if the player don't show up or a coach don't show up and they you know voted or whatnot based on you know record votes, whatever, they're supposed to get fined. Right. So he's trying to they they trying to make him do it because they, they don't want to be lenient with the rules. You know how people are like, hey, the rules are the rules. But um I mean, I, I feel like they should just let him go. And then they they're not gonna let Adrian Griffith get it because you know he fired, so he's not part of the coach association no more. Oh yeah, okay. So, you know what I'm saying? So what they gonna do? <laughs> they ain't gonna pay somebody that's not in the coach association. You know what I'm saying? You see what a brand are you brother said? No, nah, no, nah, I mean no. Nah. Basically, um uh, when it when this came when this uh, when the news came out, I texted you to to get on the uh uh call I was like bro, it's, it's too it's too much news going on right now. Right. But yeah, right. but basically uh um uh, Brandon IU brother posted on Instagram two stories, uh, and I quote, this is the exact reason why we are leaving San Francisco. Thank you for the Niners for drafting my brother, uh, B.A. Brandon IU to uh, Vegas. And the next story said, why does your all-pro receiver have three catches in the Super Bowl? Bro, three catches is not a bad game. Let's get that point. right there. Not a bad game. It's not a good game, not a bad game. It's a mid game for uh, our pro receiver. But I mean, like, you just throw it to us open. You don't force the ball. That's how you do. That's how you throw the pick. Like Patrick Mahomes did with Kelsey. You don't force yeah. it to a receiver. So like, and then publicly saying what your brother is gonna do is like that's that's fun on so many levels because you're the, not the, the one people. Is, is, people they doing the same thing. You saw with uh, uh, Dak mom talking crazy. Dak brother talking crazy. Uh, CD brother talking crazy. I'm like, <laughs> bro, like, nah, that, that, that's not how you handle a multi million dollar sports contract. And like, that's your life. That's like where you make your money from. You don't want to work at Walmart, bro. Like, that's where you make your money from. So, like, you can't. Why you got to work at Walmart? I mean, I'm just saying, bro. You don't want to work at Walmart. <laughs> But uh, here's my thing, bro. Think about the 49ers. They got Brandon Ayuk. They right. got George Kittle. They got Sam. Debo Samuel. They got CMC. Right. Juwan Jennings had a game in his Juwan life. Juwan Jennings. 
So how in the world, like, and I understand he all pro. You got someone you can. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't, yeah. I understand he all pro, bro. But like, think about the team that you own. Oh, I, I forget about the fullback, uh, Cal, uh, you you it, you it, yeah, yeah, bro. Sure. Like, best, best fullback in the league. Best fullback in the league, bro. <laughs> they got. They probably got. Bebo, he a top five receiver. Okay. Uh, IU, he probably top eight receiver. Uh, CMC, he the best running back. Best running back. Best uh, fullback. Right. Right. Yeah, they got best uh, uh, usage. Uh, Kittle, 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 probably Kittle the second best tight end. Yeah, right. You, yeah. You don't expect to get four catches, bro. You don't. You don't. You don't even expect to get three. Like, getting three is a lot, bro. You know, like, that's a great yeah. team. But that's what messed up uh, Tyreek Hill in, in, in Kansas City. He mad that, that, that Kelsey and everybody else, you know, getting touches. Like, bro, <laughs> you, like you got weapons. all these weapons on your team, and you can win a Super Bowl literally every single year. And I understand, you know, you want the money because, you know, stats, money, and then, you know, you move to another team where you're a higher option on the depth chart, more money. I understand that. But it's like, bro. Don't complain about it because right. you you know what's on your offense. You know you know the reason why you're not getting you know ten to fifteen targets. You have too many options. And speaking of Tyreek Hill, since they traded Tyreek Hill, um, the Chiefs have a seven and zero playoff record, and they got two Super Bowl rings. So, so do you do you think that was a good trade? I think it added. The defense that they needed, and yeah. they didn't. They they had too much offense. Like they didn't even need that much offense, and they added defense. So like I believe that was like one of the better trades for both teams too, though. Because the Dolphins took another yeah. step after they got Tyreek Hill. So I I can't say the Dolphins lost their trade. They just haven't fully blossomed into the trade yet. And I believe next year is the last year to like like after next year I know if it was a bust or not. Cause that like that lets me know like okay like. Tyreek Hill didn't change this team to a conference championship or, you know, a Super Bowl or because, like, they have a team. Like, the Dolphins are, are, have the most weapons. They're, they're that's not winning, bro. Like, they, they should be winning, bro. They're like the Cowboys, but they're not. Like, the, the Cowboys are winning a little more. Like, the Dolphins should be winning. They should be winning, they should be winning bro. They got um, – they got- do, you, do you know the – because – Tyree Hill, he was traded for five draft picks. Do you know what those five draft picks turned to? No, I, I, no. I, I never um, looked at them. They got McDuffie, yeah. the cornerback. They drafted him. Um, probably one of, He's a great cornerback. McDuffie, he, he, he's a real nice quarterback. Probably one of the, the uh, best corners in the league. Uh, wide receiver, Sky Moore. He's okay. Um, okay. They traded one of the picks with the Giants with Kadarius Tony. That's, that's been shaky so that's far. Good. Uh, inside outside line, inside outside linebacker Darian, uh, Kennard, wide receiver, she okay. writes, you know what he like, and yeah, for um, sure. uh, Keandre Coburn. I'm a Coburn, too. Mm-hmm. yeah. So, I mean, you know, um, it, it definitely, I, I definitely think it benefited both, both sides. Um, they was able to, to keep Travis, they chose Travis over um, Tyreek, so they was able to pay him. And uh, you know, you got rookie contracts, the uh, that's pennies on the dollar, especially if you get somebody like McDuffie or you get um Sky Moore or she rice. So she did, yeah. Yeah, so you know. Yeah, I, I ain't got no complaints. I'm not I'm not a fan of either either one of the teams. Uh you, you know about Marcus Jordan and, and Lawson Pippen, right? Marcus Jordan and what what was the last Marcus program? Jordan and Larson Pippen. No. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. He he married. Yeah, oh, yeah. Okay, I heard that. Yeah. They broke up this past weekend. I think I think I over like I skimmed that story, but like I didn't even read the details about it. You know. But I'm like, bro. I mean, it, I mean, it's a, it's a crazy relationship. I don't know what went on. Nobody knows what went on. And um, they don't add each other on Instagram this past weekend. And um, Larsa, she posted stuff like, um, make sure you watch who you date. 
all this other <laughs> stuff. But I'm why like, you, dude, you an old why? lady. Like, well, she like, well, I want to say she like uh, six or eighteen years older than, than Marcus Jordan. But I'm like, bro, like, like, what did you expect? I don't know what's going on. And then, but I don't, I don't know what happened. But Marcus Jordan, like, maybe he talked about it like in public because everybody want to talk to Marcus Jordan trying to see what's going on. But like, he he sounded like a good dude. It sounded like he really believed in what they had going on. But um, hey, uh, didn't work out for whatever reason. Um, what what you think? What you think? Uh, Michael, uh, thinking now? I mean, it's it's like I don't know. I I don't, I don't do it in relationship talk, you know, because yeah. I I honestly don't give a f- like. <laughs> she, she just happened like, and I believe he's just like he got he got money, he got what he need. He probably don't give a f- like like honestly like like when you when you at a certain level and like I believe people with money should be even at this level because like you you you're sick. You shouldn't give a f- like. I, so I I honestly believe like it's just like one of those things that like. That's right, babe. Yeah. Shouldn't be covered too much. But yeah, bro. Um, defense was just saying about uh, Marcus Royal last pick. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, I got you. Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, yeah, I had um, no, I ain't even hit, I ain't even hit um, the question, bro. <laughs> but yeah, um. Uh, we can start over. What did you think about um Marcus Jordan and, and Lars Pippen with the breakup? Damn. See, I, I didn't really even think too hard on this shit, but damn, hold on. Them niggas, them niggas don't even like each other no more, do it. No. Well, I don't really think they ever was friends. You know what I'm saying? They teammates, they win together, two best players on the team. But I don't really think they were like deeply friends. But I don't, I don't know. So but like, but it, 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 they they severed ties completely at the last dance. Like at the last dance, and Scott said he said, and MJ said he said, I think that's that's over with now. I believe. Um, yeah, I just I'm, I'm not I'm not. This not the shade room, bro. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like we can't turn this into the shade room, bro. Like, <laughs> bro, we can't. All our topics can't be about sports, bro. I mean, right, right. You, you, you know, you gotta, you gotta bring a, 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 a little female audience in. You know what I'm saying? You gotta, you gotta bring a little gossip in, though. Yeah, you, you, you right, you right about it, bro. Also, I forgot to mention Jack State. Shout out to Jack State, Sunny Boom. That was in the halftime show with Usher. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I go to bed. <laughs> Uh, you think I want to hear that, nigga? I go to Valley, nigga. We performed at the Memphis <laughs> Arena. The Memphis <laughs> Stadium compared to the Super Bowl is so, like, they're so insane, bro. Like, that's crazy. What you but mean? Shout out, shout out to them, bro. <laughs> shout out to them, bro. Like, I mean, Valley, Valley only get Memphis Grizzlies, and JSU Jay, Jay, get that, and our band has been performing better this year. So, like, to each of his own, you know, shout out to them, bro. You know? I'm not I'm I'm not too in depth into HBCU bands, but when you hear about HBCU bands, you hear about um Southern Louisiana, yeah, and uh Jackson State, uh FAMU. Um, right. We blew FAMU back, bro. We we blew their ass back, man. I was that bro. You you, you they, they, biased. They blew us back, bro. You, bro. you biased, bro. No, we actually blew them back, like. No, like we, we blew them back, bro. Um, bro, Valley won that. JSU, I, I think JSU blew our ass, though. I ain't gonna go. Our field show was better, but they blew our ass, though. Um, bro, they, they, they did. They, they beat us in that competition, but I believe overall this year, Valley was more deserving of that. Like, our band has been getting the, the hype and the looks like everybody been looking at our band trying to come and everything. Like, we got like over like 50 New Orleans people. In in Valley, going just for the band, like I believe, like we, we should have got that, that opportunity, bro. Especially next year, we should get that opportunity. Yeah, bro. And shout out to uh, Valley, shout out to JSU, shout out to all the HBCUs, all HBCU bands. Number love over here, but man, I think that's it. Um, this was a great first episode of. Uh, the fan take 
uh, recap, talk about the Super Bowl, Travis Kelsey, Taylor Swift, uh, Kadarius Tony, Brock manager, uh, Brock Purdy, uh, game manager, and, and elite uh, talk. Um, obviously, the game, halftime show, us, Alicia Keys, uh, the NBA All Star game, Doc Rivers, uh, representing the East as the head coach, Trey Young, Sky Barnes, replacements for um, Joel B. Julius Randle, uh, Aaron Fox, Snug, uh, the Kanye Super Bowl commercial, uh, legendary, um, Brandon Ayuk and his brother. And, uh, yeah, man, great, great first episode. What you think? Yeah, I'm lean, man. It, it was, it was put together, you know, put together kind of. It came slowly, but as like, you know, we got. It seems like we just got more used to like just talking. You know, we are definitely talking into a camera, so the nerves aren't there. But you know, you just have to adjust to a different type of conversation in a podcast. And I, I really amend the people that do this shit because like it's not easy. Like, it's not easy, bro. Like yeah. just asking questions and keeping a straight face and character and everything, like staying in tune with the script and everything. It's not easy. So, yeah, I amend everybody. Yeah. I mean, we're gonna get better with time. You know what I'm saying? Get better time. Add, add more things. Time come along. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully, get some good comments on this. Get some uh some good advice. And, and yeah, man, we're gonna we're gonna try to take this to the top. But thank you for joining us, listening to the first episode of the Fan Talk on Cam, that's Sweetie, and we out, bro. Okay, see, I'm in the thunder, I be feeling like I'm chick. You switch up like KD, Drake Munda, don't get me a text. Double team, bitch, in your bitch, hooping like I'm on the net. Working hard, can't get no rest, I wrapped it right off my chest.